Hello guys, welcome back to some more Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. In the last episode we finished off the first three levels in Warp Room number two. Even Coco got a piece of the action as well in, episode, in level eight. And this episode now we're now going to finish off Warp Room number two in level nine and level ten. These levels aren't really the best levels in the game, but let's get them out of the way. So right off the bat, this is a cool looking level. Unfortunately, this level though itself isn't exactly great. I don't particularly like the vehicle we're using. Because when I was a kid, this level used to really annoy me. Because when I first played this game, I could never figure out how to use this thing. Bearing in mind, when I first played this game, I was only 6 or 7 years old at the time. When you had to sink the ships, I didn't realise in order to fire a missile from this, you had to hold down the X-Bar rather than just tap it. So I literally kept doing this and I was joking, I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. But eventually... It took me like a few minutes, maybe 10, 20 minutes to realise I actually had to hold down the X button. At least I eventually figured it out. Okay, I want to sink this ship, let's get one ship sunk. Overall though, this level now isn't really that difficult now. Once you know what you need to do, this level is pretty easy. Even if this level is a bit slow. I mean, I say this level is a bit slow because I mean, this vehicle isn't exactly fast. And when you fire the weapon, the it's not really. This isn't particularly a fast-paced level as such. Overall, I wouldn't say this level is particularly great. Okay, I'm gonna hit that health box last. How many boxes have I got? Okay, I just need to hit two more. And one of them is the health box. All right, let's hit it. I need some more health. There we are. Okay, got the gem as well. Okay, let's sink these ships and let's get out of here. So this level is pretty easy, a pretty short, pretty simple level. Once you know what you need to do, that is. Okay, so now the ship's sunk. Let's get this one down. Okay, so I hope I can do this before I lose all my health. The enemies in this mission really do not fuck about either. Couldn't get the ship sunk. Once we've done that, we'll have the crystal. Then that's its mission complete nice and easily. There we are. That should do it. We're out of here. Okay, that is level 9 complete. That's sinking things out of the way. We'll do the trial. The time trial that level is actually pretty easy, to be fair. It goes down under 3 minutes 30 seconds. I definitely did that in under 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, level 10 H2O no. They're gonna have to hang you out to dry when I get through with you. Okay, level 10. This level overall is not great, but it's not bad. I mean, the first half of this level is a bit shit because we're literally controlling this horrible little submarine thing again. I mean, this, using a submarine is never fun in this game, I have to be honest, in my opinion anyway. Especially when you have to deal with those horrible spikes. Ah, oh, fucking hell, those things. You have no idea how much I hate those things. It's so easy for them to ambush you, you can barely see them. Okay, I think so far. Oh, watch out for that one. Okay, I've got 61. No! That's that fish there! I think you probably see why this level is so annoying. It's so easy for the enemies to hide out of sight from you. Especially when you've got lots of coral in this level to deal with as well. Yeah, these enemies can easily hide from you. It's ridiculous. Some of them, anyway. Some of the little fishes, anyway, especially. I would speed my way through this, but, you know, I'm going to end up getting hit by one of these spikes at some point, so I don't know if it's really a smart idea. I'm going to quickly take this thing out, Nitro Box out quickly. Not that I actually need to, we'll do it anyway. Okay, took that guy out. I'm sure I keep spamming down the X button, just take everything out in front of me. Make things a lot easier. Catch both that bomb to go down. Now I've got to blow up that TNT. The TNT crate you better blow up because obviously when you hit that nitro crate at the end, it is not gonna. Fucking hell. When you hit that nitro crate at the end, it's not gonna blow up the TNT crates for you, so make sure you do blow up these TNT crates. Oh. Oh, that. Okay, if I can hit the nitro crate, that should blow all these up. There we are. And I just got killed by that little fish again. 
So yeah, level 10 is... Yeah, the first half of this level is a bit or is dreadful. But luckily, when you um, get halfway through level, that's when we got the platforming segment. Uh, and the platforming segments in this level are definitely much better than this segment we're doing right now. In the last episode, I said level 7 was one of the worst levels in the game. And yes, because I felt the level was a bit too big in a way. Like... It was quite easy to miss a box because of how big levels. But I was thinking, if the level was this big, like when you swim around, then maybe a level would be a bit more bearable. That's one thing I never liked about the level 7 when I was younger. That's one thing I still don't like about it now. The worst part of this level is out, out of the way. So thankfully now, we're now on to the best part of the level, which is this platforming segment. Not the best platforming level in Crash Bandicoot Wrath or Cortex. Yeah, it's tolerable at least. So I've got to find 165 crates. Alright, we can do that. I just got to avoid all this electricity. I'm definitely not stepping in that. Okay, so how am I going to reach that? Like this. There we are. When I was younger, I'd always have to come back to this level to revisit it to get to get the box gem. But it wasn't until years later until I realised that if you actually do that, you can actually reach that box. Hang on. Is that one of those bombs? Yes, it is. Huh, at least we won't be dealing with them anymore in this level. Oh, oh, they actually hit me. <laughs> I keep saying how pathetic these enemies are. They actually managed to hit me then. Because why did you play this game? Why did you feel bad for killing them? Those enemies are not deliberately trying to kill you. It's not like these enemies are trying to kill you or deliberately kill you. Why? I, mean, I just got killed by one. rid of them. If I have to kill these enemies, I will, but they're working for Dr. Cortex in the other day, so at least Crash doesn't feel these don't feel bad, bad for killing them. They've probably done lots of bad things in their lifetime working for Cortex. Who knows? I'll get that cracking mask. Fair enough. I think over here there should be a checkpoint box. Yep, thought there would be. Get out of here. I do like this though when you can bounce on the crate and that and you have to avoid the electricity walls. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty fun. A nice little platforming segment. Get rid of this guy. Get out of it. There are some platforming levels in this game that I do hate, by the way. Some of them we'll see a bit later on in the game. I was going to not spin those crates. I thought there would be a nitro crate hidden in there, but no. But unfortunately, I spun those crates before even realising that. But luckily, Luckily, this game doesn't have any traps like that. While the levels in the first Crash Banker game, in the lab level, had like... Had a nitro crate and it had some like normal crates hidden around it. Basically, so you'll catch the player out when you um, spin all those boxes in one go. And you wouldn't realise there'll be like a TNT crate or a nitro crate. Literally hidden by those boxes. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to blow these up. And then go for these boxes here. You would think, how am I going to make it across? But I have an idea. Do this. Well, now she's hit that box. There we are. See, you would think this this bonus round is impossible to do without the super double jump, but it actually isn't. I hope I didn't miss any boxes doing that. Hopefully those boxes I missed were just nitro crates. Yes, they were. When we beat the next crunch boss fight, we actually get the super double jump, which is very a very handy power up. Once we get the death tornado spin in the other crunch boss fight later on, we will have the super double jump death tornado spin. When we beat crunch in the next warp room, we will have the death tornado spin as well. And once we unlock that, we will have the super double jump death tornado spin combination. Honestly, it is such a good combination. If you played the other Crash games, you would know this by now. How good the De Super Double Jump Death Tornado Spin combination is. Yes, I got all the box. I was hoping I didn't miss a box in that in that submarine segment. Okay, let's get out of here. So 
So the second boss fight we got with Crunch is drain damage. Loads of people keep saying when they played this game as a kid, this boss fight used to be absolute torture for them. But honestly, when I played this game, that boss fight as a kid, this boss fight never annoyed me too much. I managed to get through it quite easily. But when I came back to this as an adult many years later, that's when I died so many times. And that's when I thought to myself, okay, this is much harder than I remember it to be. I actually find this boss fight a lot harder now than I actually did many years ago. I don't know why that is. Anyway, let's see if we can get through this. Ah! Get over here, you little orange sponge! Because we're going to ring you out. Okay, here we go. Many people consider this boss fight the hardest boss fight in the game, but me personally, no. I think the hardest boss fight for me still to this day is the crunch boss fight number four, the one with the low, low elemental mask. That one's got to be the hardest one for me. All this water here is all the tears from all the younger players that played this game. I've just been killed. Okay, I'm not going to do this all in one go then. All that water is the tears of players that play, people that played this game when they were younger. All the tears of the younger players. Okay, see if I can get my way through this. Oh, that did not hit me! When you unlock the super double jump, this, this boss fight is so much easier. Before you have to beat this without the super double jump first. Luckily, when you beat this, you do unlock the super double jump. Right, let's take him out. There we are. Later on, we'll see a little attack from Crunch that does nothing to you. Crunch does this, and it does nothing. Oh, maybe it does. <laughs> oh, I didn't realise if you maybe that wasn't Crunch. Maybe if you stand here for too long, it will eventually sink. Let's find out. I'm gonna find this out actually. Yeah, if you stand here for too long, it will eventually go underwater. All right. Okay. I never knew this when I was younger. I never realised that. Oh, too early. I'm also considering if I stand this for too long, it will go underwater now. Right. Okay, see if I can get through this. Okay, so one of Crunch's attacks literally does absolutely nothing to you. Right, jump over. No, that did not hit me, for fuck's sake. I think you probably see why this boss fight was absolute torture for some people when they were younger. I mean, I never had a trouble. This boss fight did take me out a few times when I was younger, but to be honest with you, this boss fight was never a pain for me when I was younger, though. But now I'm an adult, for some reason, I find this a lot harder now than I did all them years ago. Okay, let's just get through this. I don't want to rush things too much, though. Right, see if I can get to him quickly. There we go. He's down. Double jump. To jump twice as high, press X to jump, and then press X to jump again. And top of the jump. The super double jump is here. And there we go. That is warp room number two complete. We'll come back to this warp room a bit later on to get that gem and to complete the time relics as well. Okay, let's go to warp room number three. You are making a mockery of me in front of my minions. Not only have you defeated the elemental masks, but you are still collecting those worthless crystals. Well, you've gotten this far, and this is as far as you're gonna get. Pyro, the fire elemental, will see to that. Oh, Cortex, come on! I don't need some flaming mask to help me! I can take Crunch on by myself! Crunch, you will do as I say. You and Pyro will vanquish Crash and his annoying friends. So that is warp room number two complete and now Cortex, we're now making a mockery of Cortex. That is how things should be. When I first played Unlocked this warp room for the first time many years ago, it took me at least a few days to start one of the levels in this warp room because Pyro the Fire Elemental used to scare the hell out of me when I was younger. When I looked at him for the first time on the back of the PS2 cover for this game, I thought, yeah, he looks really scary. He actually looked really terrifying to me when I was younger. Yeah, it took me like... A little while to play myself, so I just didn't want to encounter him, so I knew I'd get a bit scared. One cool thing about Pyro the Elemental Master, he is voiced by Mark Hamill, the, the guy who voiced Luke Skywalker from Star Wars, if you can believe it or not. Who would have thought Mark Hamill would voice someone as intimidating as Pyro, eh? 
So in the next episode, we are going to start off walkthrough number three. This walkthrough again, like the last one, is a bit of hit me. Hit miss me. There are some levels in this world I love, and there are some that I hate. And we'll go through that in the next episode. This walkthrough, by the way, has my least favourite level in the game. And we're actually going to play that level in the next episode as well. So, oh boy. Wish me luck on that. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thank you for updating all the Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex episodes uploaded to my channel. And in the next episode, we'll start Warp from number three. Hope to see you all then. Thank you for watching. This is Goldiex, and I'm out.